Hey guys, this is OSP Communications, back again with another Tales from the Dark Side episode review, this time of episode nine, episode 20, episode 20, it's actually episode uh, 19 of season 1, you could say it's 20 because if you include the pilot episode, but episode 19, directed by John Harrison, uh, starring Joe Turkle, Brad Cowgill, Cynthia Frost, and Anthony Tompkins, uh, as well as John Marzilli, and Joe Turkle, you'll remember, probably remember him from Blade Runner, he was um, he was the the main guy. He was Doctor Eldon Tyrell, and he was also Lloyd the bartender in The Shining. You might remember the most from that. Now here he plays uh, the Great Karma, a magician who had mastered this uh, trick of levitation, uh, but and he'd done it multiple times until there's a tragic accident where uh, he ended up. Uh, trying out the levitation trick on his own daughter and uh, things went awry and his daughter floated away literally just floated away in the sky and, and never to be seen again so he vowed to never perform that trick again well there's this uh, there's this uh, uh, kid named Frank this uh, and uh, he he's a huge magician magic fan and he really he's he's really wants to see the levitation trick and um, so he fought, but so he follows, uh, finds out where the great karma is doing his magic show at this traveling carnival, and he brings along his friend Ernie, played by Anthony Tompkins. Who I, I like, I think both actor, young actors, did a good job, Brad Calgill and uh, Anthony Tompkins. And so uh, he takes his friend along, and they go see a show, the great karma. And it's just a really a generic, bland, uh, re you know, regular magic show. And um, you know, Brad Top, you know, Brad, you know, this ca this character, um, Brad Cowgill, played by Fra you know Frank. Frank's upset. He's like, "Hey, you know, I, you know, you're the great karma. You're one of the greatest magicians of all time. I want to see the levitation trick." And it's like, "Don't you? D d well, you know, that's impossible. You know." And he, he, he's, the, the kid keeps needling the great karma, keeps telling him, you know, Houdini, you know, you know, Houdini gave you the, 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 the you know, the ability to do the levitation trick. I want to see it. And so he f even follows him back, you know, after the show is over, he even follows him uh, while he's having his break. He follows him to his, you know, personal quarters on, on, the, on the circus, you know, location. Uh, spot and needles him some more until so finally uh, but you know then 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 uh, then Frank goes too far and insults him and then he goes comes back to watch the boring old ma you know another magic show it's the same old boring thing you know and his friend even his friend uh, Ernie's like dude what are you doing and he's heckling him so uh, Frank starts heckling the great karma and he just starts literally just predicting what what trick he's gonna do next. So so the other people in the audience know exactly what he's gonna do. And so you know, like, oh, he's got flowers in his sleeve. Such a stupid trick, you know, you know. And that pisses off a great karma. And so out of you know rage and and and, and you know anger, he ends up. Uh, Call it, starting the levitation trick again, and he calls up Frank to come to uh, on stage, and he performs the levitation trick on Frank, and he floats up in the air in a pretty good effect too, and eventually, you know, because he's so the great karma, he he's he's older now, and the levitation tricks takes a lot of concentration and energy, he ends up having a heart attack in the middle of while uh, Frank is floating in the air. So Frank ends up floating away, and um, I thought it was pretty terrifying too. You know, he he's floating away, and he was in a trance at first, but then he starts waking up. Actually, he's still in a trance. He's still in a trance. He's completely, you know, just completely passed out, and then he just floats away and through the, you know, through the tent, circus tent, and his friend Ernie's just like Frank, Frank, oh my God, Frank, and he's like, come down, Frank. And then Frank just floats away, and then that's the end of the segment and the end of that episode. And this is definitely one of those moral ones. Don't piss off a magician. 
Okay, don't piss off a magician who knows the levitation trick. Uh, because he might perform it on you, and then because it takes so much energy, he'll die, and the only person that could bring your ass back is going to dead now. Um, so, basically, don't heckle magicians. <laughs> but really, uh, it's not even the, really the best moral, but I like the episode because I think it has a great performance by Joe Turkle. And you definitely did really feel for this guy uh, when you hear about his story, about what happened to his daughter, and that he did never perform the magic trick again, the levitation trick again, because his daughter tragically ended up floating away. And I know it sounds stupid, but it's actually pretty, you know, uh, sad and hor horrifying if you think about it. So, uh, man, I didn't mind Brad Cowgill and Anthony Co Anthony Tompkins and uh, Frank was played, a, you know. You, you know, you, you kind of understood why he was upset, but at the same time, this episode went along. You were, you were like his friend Ernie. You're like, come on, man, you're going too far here. And then, of course, what happens? You, you, you know, he gets, he gets the, you know, he gets to see the levitation trick. He gets to see it firsthand. Uh, and he wished, he, he wishes he hadn't. So basically, in other words, the moral of the story, don't be a dick. <laughs> don't be a dick. Especially the magician who will, who will do a levitation trick on your ass and send you flying away, floating away into never, never land, never to be seen again. But anyway, I really don't know what to say about levitation, except I think it's one of the better episodes of the first season, and actually one of my favorite episodes of the of the series. Um, and um, yeah, I thought it was really well done. Even the music I thought was was well well done as well. So anyway, thanks for watching my review of levitation, and I will see you guys later. See ya.